Japan's image is high-tech and futuristic, but in fact, it is also blessed with bountiful nature. About two-thirds of its total land is covered in forests, one of the highest proportions of forested areas in the world. But Japan's forests have not always been bountiful. Forests were logged and cleared for construction materials, everyday fuel and fertilizer, and to increase farmland. In terms of industry, forests and woods were heavily logged to create fuel for metal refining and more. This resulted in a reduction of forested area to about half of the landmass at the time. In the wake of denuded forests and frequent flooding, the government enacted the Forest Act in 1897. Moves such as the creation of a protection forest system resulted in full-scale regulation of forest logging. In the 20-year period from 1950, those decimated forests underwent intensive forestation in excess of 300,000 hectares annually.地球Sustainable forest management is being undertaken throughout Japan. Now, let's take a look at some examples of initiatives in Hokkaido. Edimo Town is located in the southeast of Hokkaido. The town experiences very strong winds. Under such conditions, once forests are lost, they are not easily recovered. To overcome this, a large-scale Cape Edimo greening project was launched. え、about 90% of the town is covered in forests, and its abundant natural greenery makes it very attractive. ま、年、あの、50ヘクタールを植林しまして、60年間かけて育てることで森林資源を循環させるといった、ま、持続可能な森づくりを進めています。ま、下川町のそうした森づくりですとか、えっと、様々なこう取り組みは Asahikawa City is in the center of Hokkaido. What stands out here is Asahikawa Furniture. How did furniture that has done nothing more than use local materials acquire such added value that it became globally recognized? 実は、こう、朝日川がrestoration requires considerable labor, cost, and above all, time. A century ago, Japanese forests were decimated through excessive use resulting from population increases and changes in industrial structure. But forests have been restored through long, steady efforts and initiatives. As long as forests receive proper care, they can most definitely be regenerated. If they are used in a sustainable way, they demonstrate multiple functions and can be expected to have a positive economic impact on regions. Sustainable forest management requires good forest governance. It also requires a fair legal system and its effective implementation, 
as well as the participation, understanding, and cooperation of various stakeholders. Plant trees, care for them, nurture forests, cut down the trees, plant again. It is vital that humans continue to protect this cycle that makes the best use of forests.